terms of John, um, um, John 1, 25. Excellent. The Levites and the priests are sent to John, Praise John the, the Baptist, I got this one. and they inquire of him, which of the three are you? And they're specifically, they ask him, Amen. If, uh, who are you? Are you Elijah? He says, no. Are you, are you Christ or Messiah? Mm-hmm. No, I'm not. Are you the prophet? The prophet. Exactly. They had a specific prophet in mind, Amen. which I'm pretty sure you're going to say it refers to the Deuteronomy. Now, not John Deuteronomy, doesn't no, but, say but... anything. Hmm? John doesn't say even later, and there's a confusing passage. I, I, I can't pinpoint it where, but when he was, I, I believe when he was in prison, yeah. he inquires again from Jesus, or he sends a message, are you the one that we, uh, we, we were hoping to get or, are, or should we look for another? Yes. I don't remember exactly what area yeah. of the New Testament it is, but I think you, you recognize that. Yeah, I'll tell you where that comes from in the context. But I want to deal with John first, because that's in Luke 7 and, and Matthew 11. Yes. So right there, it shows that there, is, there was an oral tra- tradition for three expected people to come mm-hmm. in, in that time frame to the lost sheep of Israel, if you want to call it, or okay. to the tribes of Israel. All right. So that, that's one comment I have about that. Can the I comment address it? Last night. Okay, can I address yeah. John first, 1, though? Uh, Nanu, sure, sure, I want to address all your points. They're excellent. And I praise the Lord Jesus Christ for this interaction. Um, let me just suggest what you just said about John 1, 19, 25. There it says that they asked John if he's the Christ. He says, no. You know, they asked him if he's Elijah. He said, no. Are you the prophet? He says, no. So in that context, these particular Jews were expecting three distinct figures, the Christ, the, uh, Elijah, and the prophet. Now, I, you're using that to show that the prophet is someone different from the Christ, which in that context, you're correct. The prophet is someone different from the Christ according to the understanding of these particular Jews. However, if these Jews are right, Muhammad is a false prophet again. Do you know why? Do you know why? If these Jews were right about the prophet being someone different from the Christ, then you have problems. Muhammad can't be a prophet. Do you, do you know why or you don't see it? Would you like no, go, me to show go you? Go ahead and explain. Okay. Notice who they're asking if he's the prophet. They're asking John the Baptist if he's a prophet. Why are they asking John the Baptist if he's the prophet when the prophet is supposed to be an Ishmaelite? John the Baptist is an Israelite. That tells you that the Jews knew that whoever the prophet is, he has to be an Israelite, which disqualifies Muhammad. So do you agree with the Jews that the prophet had to be an Israelite, yes or no? I, I see your point, but the comment I have about that is the fact that maybe Jews knew of a person who will come later. But the identity of that person was hidden from them. Okay. And if God wanted to choose, as Koran says, God sends of his mercy to whoever he wants. Mm-hmm. So if God wanted to choose an Ishmaelite, then God had no problem doing that. And they were brothers. Brother, the seed of Ishmael and the seed of Isaac, they are brothers, regardless. So are the Edomites and, the, and Jacob's descendants. In fact, Deuteronomy 2.4 says that the Edomites are the brothers of Israel. But that's not the point. It's how the word is used in context. But again, if you're saying God can send an Ishmaelite, that's fine. But the Jews understood that the prophet is an Israelite. Therefore, if they're right, Muhammad is wrong. So would you agree with me that in principle, the Jews were mistaken in thinking that the prophet was an Israelite? If that was their thinking, then it could have been. Okay, so it's possibly... Per, per that, it's Israel. Excellent. It's possible they're wrong, but then you have to be consistent. Since it's possible they were wrong concerning the ethnicity of the prophet, then by the same token, you have to admit it's possible that they were wrong in thinking the prophet is someone different from the Christ. Once you open the door to the possibility they were mistaken concerning his ethnicity, you have to be consistent and then see whether they were wrong in thinking the prophet was different from the Christ. In fact, if you just continue reading in the Gospel of John, John shows you from Jesus' words that Jesus claims to be not just the Christ, but that prophet. So they're not two different persons, but one and the same. And let me just give you the proof first. Before you move on to John 14, let me give you the proof that the Jews were wrong in thinking the prophet was someone different from Christ, but they were right the prophet was an Israelite because Jesus says he is that prophet and that Moses wrote about him. So did his followers in the same chapter and the same book. Let me read. John 145. 
Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one Moses wrote about in the law. We have found him that Moses wrote about in the law, and about whom all the prophets also wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of uh, Joseph. Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. So here Philip thinks Jesus is the one that Moses wrote about. John 5, 39 to 40. Same gospel, same chapter, and then the later chapters. John 5, 39 to 40. Jesus speaking, you diligently study the scriptures because you think that by them you possess eternal life. Just reading them, you're going to find eternal life. These are the scriptures that testify about me, yet you refuse to come to me to have life. Then later in the same chapter, John 5, 45, 47, same chapter where he says the scriptures testify about me, he mentions Moses. But do not think I will accuse you before the Father. John 5, 45 to 47. Your accuser is Moses, on whom your hopes are set. If you believe Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote about me. But since you don't believe what he wrote, how are you going to believe what I say? So according to the same book of John, which you quoted, the prophet is the Christ. So the Jews were wrong, wrong in thinking there were two different persons. They're actually one and the same person. The Christ is the prophet. The prophet is the Christ. Final proof of that is John 6, 14 and 15. And then you can go on to John 14 or add some comments regarding this um, data. John 6, 14, 15. After the people saw the miraculous sign that Jesus did. Remember what we said earlier. To be a prophet like Moses, you must do miracles like Moses. In John 6, Jesus multiplied bread and fed 5,000 people. It says when they saw that miracle, they began to say, Surely, this is the prophet who was to come into the world. So if you read the Gospel of John in context, Jesus is the Christ and the prophet. So the Jews were wrong in, wrong in thinking the prophet was someone different from the Christ, but they were right that the prophet was an Israelite because that's what Jesus is. I, I see your point. Now, my only comment, you made a very well uh, argument, but I want to move on.